intensity defensively um, and the selflessness offensively. Um, and it puts behind the eight ball quite a bit. Credit to them. They, they took advantage of that. Made, they made a lot of shots. Um, and then when we, uh, the rest of the, the course of the game, made runs, they, they answered them. But really proud of the group that came in and kind of got us going, got us back in, and uh, showed some good things. From a coaching perspective, if you could go back to the start of that game and then especially the start of the second half, would you change anything? Uh, you know, the one the one thing might have been, you know, personnel wise, um, but we we knew we knew we were going to get good energy off the bench, and we wanted to challenge that initial five to get back to playing um, the way we we're supposed to play. And I thought. First, I mean, we missed a couple of shots in the, at the start of the second half that I, I thought were good looks. Um, they, they made their first couple of baskets, but then I thought we settled in and, and that group responded that we challenged at halftime. Um, you know, when, the one thing we might have might have looked back on is, is going to a little bit of zone early in the second half because they were driving us. But when you look at their stats from the first half, they were hitting some threes. So um, good, good question there. Um, I, I just know with really what it came down to, we, we said it was going to be a battle between years, and, and we didn't pass that test. Um, you're talking about one of the more mature teams in the country versus one of the younger teams, if not the youngest. And we don't make excuses, but we talked about the lessons that we need to learn, and, and, and it's coming to the court with humility, uh, with 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 a tough-minded defensive, everybody have each other's backs. Offensively, execute and share the ball. And I mean, we've we've learned a couple of early lessons um, where we didn't do those, and it cost us. And we have enough experience now to when we do do it, we see what it leads to. So it's just a challenge to get that from day in and day out. Next, where you kind of talked about it, there, but what did you feel like was kind of missing in those stretches where you guys weren't playing well, particularly at the start of the game? Just kind of the same thing. That's reared its head a few times. We just, we just, we got, we got tunnel vision a little bit offensively. And when, when you're not synchronized and maybe a little too one-on-one -on -one at times and you don't score, you can carry that frustration over to the defense. And I think that's what happened early. And, and we went to some guys from the bench and I, you saw the difference. You know, they, they, they were tougher defensively, they're flying around, and then they shared it offensively. So that's, that's, that's the lesson we're gonna learn. Florida's guards were able to find some room, especially Vaughn. Was that a product of trying to devote so much attention to, to Castleton, or is that something else? You know, I don't know if a little fatigue set in. Uh, obviously, they're quick. Um, we're we're plugging their ball screens, and some of it's probably coverages where we didn't we didn't plug high enough, and they were able to turn mm -hmm. the corner. But those are some really good athletic, physical guards. Obviously, Castleton is going to be the top of you know anybody's scouting report when they play them. But I thought they did, they did a great job. I mean, they hit, they hit some shots where we weren't mad they took them. They went in. When, when you, you've got some guys that can hit threes, and you hit some threes in the second half, but it's been a common theme that you've struggled yeah. with. And, and it seems like the three-point line is so important in the college game. Yeah. Do you, how do you feel about that? No, they're spot on, spot on. And when we've shot four percentages, it's because we've taken poor shots. <laughs> there's, there's a direct correlation. When, when you take better threes, you're going to shoot a better percentage. In the second half, our threes came off of drawn kicks, inside out, fill behind, things we work on every day in practice. And, and listen, I'm not going to be here in March talking about how young we are, okay? Uh, we've got a lot of experience now in, in this early part of the season. Now we've got to start learning from those things and showing improvement, and, and that's one area of okay? Um Penetrate to pass, ball movement, one mores, all those sort of things. That's when our shooters that we feel can can shoot good percentages will get their better looks, and the numbers will go up. Okay, so where do you, what are some areas you feel like you guys need to be better to kind of find that consistency that you're looking for? <clears throat> I think it just starts with uh, us being ready to play. I think we came out kind of lackadaisical. And then there were different stretches in the game, especially in, in the first four minutes where uh, we kind of fouled right from the get-go and then another foul, then we gave up another three. Uh, in times of adversity, that's when we have to kind of stick together and kind of band together. 
Uh, so that's probably what I would say. Kyle, you're one of the young guys and you're getting some experience. How good is this for you and, and your young teammates? <clears throat> um, it's been it's been good so far. We're learning a lot. Um, looking up to the older guys like Dexter. And, uh, it's been a good experience so far. Just got to keep working and listening to the coaches. Sure. Mike, Michael, and, and Tyler kind of showed some bright spots in the second half. Are, how are those two guys in particular coming along? Uh, we're, we're, we're really pleased. Um, you know, Mike's, Mike's, they've kind of had stretches where one will kind of, you know, show some real promise and, and it's part of the early growing pains, but they, they play for the right reasons and they play their asses off. And um, we knew that when we recruited them. And, and so now we got to start to iron out them understanding some of our coverages in zone. Um, you know, the young guys, we just, whether it's lack of communication or awareness, you gotta have your head on the swivel. We gave up too many looks, uh, even in the first half when we went zone. So it's a, it's, a, it's a learning process, but they bring their hard hats and lunch pails every day, and they allow us to coach them. And, and that's what was missing, you know, uh, in the past. And so that's what gives us confidence that we're gonna continue to learn and grow with this group. Wayne, uh, this team is young, but you haven't been afraid to go deep into the bench, and you've gotten good results from a lot of guys. Are you finding that you're coaching any differently this year in terms of that? I know that you can't put a timeline on these things, but just in terms of how you're approaching games? Yeah. Um, you know, in years past, we probably had a lot shorter bench, and we know we, we need all the guys that we have left. Um, and we're going to add two more guys here, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. And, and you know, the old adage that iron sharpens iron is, is really rings true with this group. Um, as long as they stay bought in, when you have that competition day in and day out, when we talk to Dex about this, like what's going to push him is when we get a couple of guys back, you know, because you can get better every day in practice. And it's just that little bit more urgency. And he's been great as a leader and he's done a lot of really good things for us, but that's even going to strengthen us. So I think the one thing is, in establishing getting our culture back, being willing to go to guys that maybe are a little inexperienced, but they're gonna try like hell and try to do it the beaver way. And, and that's the lesson that we need to get through to all of our guys, because we know when we have those things, we win. You know, everywhere we've been, we've, we've won. And, and that's what we gotta to continue to, to buy into and develop.